This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today I want to explain something about down imaging sonar. If you pick up a, a Helix, there are several different versions. And if your unit says down imaging or mega down imaging like the Gen 2 stuff is, it will actually show you on the end of the box uh, what type of technologies are in it and it will actually show it on this side. Down imaging is the high frequency down-looking sonar from Humminbird. In the box you're going to get a transducer that looks something like this. If it's teardrop shape is what I'm looking at, this is a standard transom style. This is designed to put on the back of your boat. It's not designed to put on your trolling motor. It can fit, there's, there's ways to do it. The problem is this unit does not have added shielding in it to prevent when the trolling motor starts moving, starts turning, creates a, what we call radio frequency noise. Radio frequency noise, if you're older generation that had a alternator on an AM FM car and you wound up the thing, you could hear it whine into your radio station. It's the same thing. Electrical motors, be trolling motors, trim motors, bilge pumps, anything create a sound when they operate. If that sound is the same frequency as what the sonar system is looking for, then it can get into the sonar system. So what Humminbird has done is created a trolling motor transducer like the one I have attached here or the one like this. We call it the square box. That is a trolling motor transducer. It has the extra shielding. This does not. This does not go on the trolling motor. This does. So if you're putting a down imaging transducer, you can call Humminbird Customer Service and you can exchange this transducer for the correct transducer. If there is any upcharge, you'll pay whatever the difference it is, but they have a program to put the correct transducer. Use the correct transducer for the correct application like we have done here and it will help keep trouble free, reduce the chances and odds of getting radio frequency noise in your sonar system. So that is the number one step if you're running a down imaging transducer is do not use this one, use this one. And if you look on the cable there's actually going to be two different ones. It's going to say XTM. There is a 925 transducer XTM 925DI and then there is a 920. That is going to be a difference in sonar. The 920 is what we call wide because it has a dual beam 2D sonar crystal in here that allow it to do the 283 kilohertz the 200 is 20 degree, the 83 is 60 degree cone, the down imaging is 455 and 800 kilohertz. And this transducer is 455 and 800 for your down imaging and it's a 25 degree uh, 200 kilohertz. So if you want wider 2D sonar coverage like your universal sonar or your, or your regular Humminbird get the wide version if you want the regular just like this get the XTM 925 I'll put the numbers on the screen right at the bottom to look down here it's right there that's the correct transducer trade it in do it right get it done right I know you're anxious and want to get that hummingbird on but if you exchange your transducer put it on right they will only exchange new in the package transducers never been installed so you have to do it before you put this on and make a mistake and then you have to buy a whole nother transducer do it right do it correctly and you will have a lot better service life we're going to jump in here and i'll just show you how i've got it set. as you can see i have mounted comes with a hose clamp and it's going to mount i have mounted an optional what transducer shield and saver call a ram protector this piece protects the transducer from underwater obstructions if you're it's an optional accessory you're just going to get the transducer this is actually a DI for my onyx unit 
and I recommend doing the exact same thing is put the right transducer on. Run it up the shaft of the trolling motor. When you get here you can exit and come right down the shaft here and enter your bow panel. Uh, will reduce the chances of RF noise. Your Humminbird only can perform as good as your installation. If you install the incorrect transducer your odds of getting RF noise are going to increase because it does not have the added shielding. It does not have the capability in this small size. This small size is designed hydrodynamically to be a skimmer transducer for the back of your boat. This box here is designed to put on your trolling motor. Yes, no. Trade this transducer in, get the right one. It'll help you enjoy your time on the water and have a lot more fun out of your hummingbirds and hopefully catch more fish. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as we go more in depth about the proper way to operate, install, and set up your hummingbird product so you can get more out of your investment. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome products that I get to represent.